the idea was to do kind of benefits versus cost comparisons and 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 let that sift out kind of what seems to be the right thing to do because because there's lots of stuff you can do but you don't have but we also have limited resources so how you're going to that that was the exercise and there was a group of us that was uh Originally, it was, let's see, Bob Fogel, mm -hmm. an economic historian, Doug North, economic historian, Tom Schelling, who was kind of an on-the-ground game theory kind of guy. And in fact, he was in Maryland, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, Mansur Olson's yep. uh, place. Uh, Tom Schelling, let's see, uh, Nancy Stokey from the University of Chicago, and I was on, and, and that, that was kind of the original group that's changed. But then we had more than one meeting and we were doing these exercises. And we listened to position papers in each of these areas. And then two comment papers. So there were three uh, and they were the experts, not us. We're just the people who are going to try to put this all together. And so we're learning uh, from them. And there would be always one on the environment and a couple of others. And then things on like, for example, uh, education programs for girls. Mm -hmm. In India, Africa, China, remote areas. There would be topics like this, and where that, that were really interesting because these papers, you realized how much money was being left on the table because uh, girls everywhere were not getting the sort of education you see that uh, that boys were getting, even in these areas that had very little uh, resources. And then there were papers on, oh, nutrition problems of children around, around the world. Uh, uh, for example, most of the salt consumed in the world is not iodized. And people have all kinds, the iodine deficiencies create all kinds of, of, of problems. And then nutrition, pro other nutrition problems with children that that create long-term problems because they 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 don't properly develop and grow. There's the problem of vaccinating children in remote areas where you don't have clinics. All of these kind of things we would have papers on aspects of this. Well, you start the uh, malaria, tuberculosis, uh, AIDS at one point. You see, when we were first meeting, uh, the people, there was nothing for AIDS was just uh, rampant. So it was pretty easy to find things better than the environment. And uh, in terms of getting your bang for your buck, and because reducing carbon emissions is a really major, the thing we, uh, but what, what we did learn though, that was important was research on energy efficiency because it, a breakthrough in that might make a big difference in the environment, you see. But otherwise, to try to just brute force uh, carbon reductions, you're talking about uh, undeveloped countries that are, uh, where poverty is being reduced. Why? because they've got low cost energy and they're developing, you see, and that's creating wealth and they're re reducing poverty. So in the world where our reduction of poverty is very much connected with energy, you see. So th this is why we, we tended to rate it low, but we typically rate it, gave uh, <coughs> good marks for increased uh, research on energy efficiency yeah. and there's a question of how to do that <laughs> and whether it'll be done right. 
you know, there's a lot of issues of implementation. But that's that's the reason. It wasn't because we didn't care about the environment. Uh, but it just was not, it just made no sense.